In this video, we're going to discuss the universal collective energy for the Leo new moon and the lunar month tone ahead. Welcome and greetings. My name is Edward, psychic medium, animal communicator, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest the life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. So first, some suggested viewing. Starting off with the current Zodiac year. It's titled Zodiac Year 2019, April 5th, 2019 through March 23rd, 2020, Ordinary Human. Go to my website, everyregasta.community, then go to your Zodiac sign link. That video is there, and the healing theme healing song, Ordinary Human, as well. Then for the current eclipses and the current month. For the solar eclipse, it is the video is titled Medium Tarot TV Plus, July 2nd Solar Eclipse Tone, December 25th, 2019, A Matter of Trust. For the lunar eclipse, Medium Tarot TV Plus, July 16th Lunar Eclipse Tone, November 11th, 2019, Whistle While You Work. And for the current month video, Medium Tarot TV Plus, July 22nd, Solar Month Tone, August 22nd, 2019. All those videos will be on my website, evidentregasta.community, link Medium Tarot TV, plus the theme healing songs, A Matter of Trust, and Whistle While You Work. All right, so this video is part of the subscription service, Medium Tarot TV Plus. Feed your soul. Go to my go to the same link. Every regards to Jack community link Medium Tarot TV, and there are example videos of the service, including this video, and where you can subscribe. All right, so let's get let's get on with it. We're going to pick up with our current week energy, which technically would be July thirty first through August seventh, but Everything that's discussed in this video will carry the tone for this lunar month. So here we have the energy of expect the unexpected. And this really is the deciding factor of life, how we perceive our life, how we approach our life. Remember, uh, fortune favors the brave. Remember that. So expect the unexpected. Are we expecting great things, or are we expecting the floor to drop out from underneath us? Usually, whatever we expect and believe is what we end up attracting, creating, and manifesting on in every area of our life. So, okay, there you go. The astrological influence is moon and zodiac cancer. All right, zodiac cancer, so if you have a, Cancer Moon, in your astrological chart, you're activating pattern or triggered for this lunar month. Zodiac Cancer is very instinctual, and they move, typically, Cancerians move sideways. They don't go direct like an Aries would. They go sideways like, like the movement of a crab, which is what I'm doing there. And a typical Cancerian, just like a crab, has a hard outer shell for protection, but a soft inside. Now, are we fully aware, are we fully aware of our surroundings? What are we focusing on? What are we concentrating on? Do we see the glass half empty, or do we see the glass half full? If you see the glass half empty, this is an analogy for life, then we're at a loss, unfortunately. We're focusing on what didn't happen, who didn't follow through, crap from our past. Everyone has it, including myself. If we see the cup as half full, then we're just expecting the universe to replace more, more, more. Bring it on, universe. If we're fully aware there are there is assistance if we need it if we're in the moment truly in the moment and aware 
of our surroundings. There is assistance and also a potential courtship. I don't know if the term would be quarter, a court is um, in process. So if that's something that you want, stay in the moment, stay positive, and hope for the best. Expect great things. Now, with expect the unexpected, this energy, anything goes, truly. But again, how, how energy works is we attract whatever, everything, including people, energy attract, attracts like energy. And as was discussed in the video for the solar month of Leo 2019, we were working with the energy, the day energy was still an influence, was the sense of security within. So all the cells, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. So if we're iffy, wobbly, or negative within, it's not like I haven't been there, that's what we end up attracting. Every area of our life, including people. Because energy attracts energy. So be aware. Be aware. Not paranoid, but just be aware. And listen to your emotions. Listen to your emotions, especially with the influence of the moon and zodiac cancer. Okay? All right. Let's move on. Now, moving on to the day energy. So, Wednesday, July 31st, we have a new moon in astrological Leo at 11, 12 p.m. Eastern, and then adjust the time to where you are on the globe. And for those who are astrologically inclined, the Leo new moon is at 8 degrees. I'm going to continue with that when I get to the Psychic Insight theme for this new moon. Color of the day is yellow, which is very much a Leo color. Absolutely. All right. So the energy that we're working with, again, everything discussed in this video, includes it, include it with the tone for the lunar month ahead. New moon to new moon. So I guess I should say what that is. Since um, So this would be July 31st through August 29th, 2019. New moon to new moon. So here we have the energy of thoughts of money and or health. And it's important to realize that both subject matters are very much energetically connected. Money and our physical health. Now, our, first of all, are we seeing life as an adventure? Because if we are, Dora the Explorer, here we go, then we're on our path and actively on our path, I should say not allowing the past to interfere with our future. Because crap happens to us all, including myself, but we cannot let that stop us from keep moving forward or moving, actively being on our path. I mean, we could think and think and think, comes a point where we have to do. This is very much a practical energy. This is the element of Earth. It's surveying what we have, and then what are we going to do with what we have? And if we want more, we want more money, more money. Or if we want better health, what are we going to do about it? Taking care of ourselves beyond food and shelter. Making sure we get proper rest, exercise, and I always throw in meditation in the mix. Though everyone does... Well, not everyone, but a lot of people do their form of meditation differently, whatever works for you. I utilize guided meditations. I spend time in nature. That's what works for me. And, of course, hanging out with animal companions. That's what, that's the, uh, what works for me. 
find, discover, rediscover what works for you, and then get busy. So if we don't have very high esteem of ourselves, right, then we're not going to have a lot of money. Now, money isn't the end all, but certainly helps when we're on planet Earth. That's my joke. So, right? And, you know, everyone is different how much money it is to make them happy or enjoy life, what makes them comfortable. Hopefully not coming from a lack, but just truly understanding who we are as a person and what makes us tick. We're going to get back to the happiness factor when a little bit later when we discuss um, good old planet Mercury. Now again, there are signs or there is assistance available for those who are truly in the moment and who are aware. To be aware, you have to be in the moment. So I, you know, I say, that's where all the magic happens. That's how we attract, create, manifest. We can plan and strategize. We still have to come back into the moment. All right, let's move on. Now, the Psychic Insight theme for this Leo New Moon. The energy is socializing, networking. Okay? All right. The astrological influence is Saturn in Leo. It has to be Leo because it's a Leo New Moon. But Saturn in Leo, Saturn. Okay, the planet Saturn is a bit of a heavy, but it certainly plays plays its role. Saturn is the task master. You better work. It makes us work for what we have. Now, with this energy, we can go one of two ways. We can get involved in a group or organization, not necessarily a large one. It can be just five people, including ourselves where we share wisdom and knowledge. We could also get involved in some type of study, something learned that we enjoy to expand our horizons. The not so positive application of energy would be competition. Now, let me explain. There is, of course, healthy competition. But I mean the competition where I'm better than you or other, people's, other people who think that they are better than us. That is unhealthy competition. Good old healthy competition, absolutely. You can work off a lot of energy and steam with a healthy competition, sport activity, absolutely. So, socializing and networking. It's big play this lunar month. So, do we need to expand our horizons? Do we need to go to different places, meet new people? Do we? If we do the same old thing, we've got the same old results. If you're happy with the results, you don't need to change anything, right? Now, I make a joke that we shouldn't even go to the facilities, the bathroom, in our own living space without a business card. So because you never know who you're going to meet. So what that means is basically wherever we go, we should have some form, some somehow to share our communication, to let people know that we are available for whatever, okay? Business or personal. Exchange our telephone number, have a business card. Somehow be prepared. Let's get back to that. Be prepared. Be aware and be prepared. Personally, what I do, if the energy feels proper, they get a business card. That's how I work. That's how I, that's how I do. But you do what you feel comfortable with, but again, remember, do the same thing, get the same results. Unless you're happy with your results, look to expand it. Being social, socially, for you, more socially active, going out more, 
but you can also make that productive. It doesn't have to be just to go out to go out. It could be picking a subject matter that you feel a passion for, you would like to expand your mental horizons with, learned energy, take a class, a course, doesn't have to be long term. Okay? These are possibilities. Yeah, all right. Now, moving on. Now, today, July 31st, the planet Mercury goes stationary direct at 11.58 p.m. Eastern, and then just a time to where you are on the globe. Now, good old Mercury retrograde, the recent Mercury retrograde period. Technically went, to, went retrograde, sorry, on July 7th in the astrological Leo, 4 degrees. Go stationary direct. Today, July 31st, in Zodiac Cancer, 23 degrees. I'm going to get back to that. And it won't be technically direct, meaning it goes back to the same degree that it was in when it went retrograde until August 14th, when it goes to Leo 4 degrees again. Now, the reason why, well, first of all, this is very good. Uh, when it comes to Mercury retrograde, if you know your astrological chart, if you have Virgo or Gemini rising ascendant, you're affected directly, like myself. Everybody else is affected indirectly. All right. Can't stop our lives, but it is what it is. So the reason why going into this is because, I know there's a reason, ah, that's why, because part of the zodiac year energy is Mercury in Cancer, so that's an activation, okay? So now we're going to briefly discuss that, do a review of that energy because it's being activated. So that energy is, like I said, astrological influence is Mercury, planet Mercury in zodiac Cancer, if you have that placement, then you are activating power node triggered for the zodiac year, which is April 5th through March, April 5th, 2019 through March 23rd, 2020. So this is the energy of happy union and enjoyment. It's enjoyment, yes. Sharing a cup of cheer. So here, cheers. I only have coffee, but still, cheers. Bye. Well, Salute to your health. But it's gathering with like-minded individuals. It can be a smaller group. And once again, there is the possibility of assistance. So, you know, you know the saying, misery loves company? So are we sharing happiness or are we sharing doom and gloom? We all know someone who does the doom and gloom, don't we? All right. No judgment, but... All right. So are we enjoying our life? Whether, whatever our budget is, are we actually truly enjoying the quality of our life? Now, going back to that expecting the unexpected... We, we, well, so the thing is, this is the trick, one of the tricks of the universe. To have more in life, and it's a trick, I'll admit, we have to actually be okay with what we have right at the very moment. Because it's that energy that attracts more. That's why the saying is, misery loves company. If you're in misery, you only attract more of it. I know, it's easier said than done, but it is what it is. Now... Whenever one energy is activated, kind of ricochets and pokes the other. So the other energy for the zodiac year is looking at things from a different perspective. And I am, I can bet your bottom dollar that since April 5th, 2019, you have had to look at something or someone from a different perspective. Lovingly forced, actually. 
I was. But it's really for our, for a higher good. And the energy itself, I do not see as negative, but it really is um, not what happens to us, but how we react. And for those who take, taking a different perspective, different point of view is a given. Though, if you happen to take a spiritual perspective, look at things or a person through spiritual eyes, you will have an edge this year, the Zodiac year, through March 23rd, 2020. This actually is the energy of an influence of the planet Neptune and a Pisces-like energy as well. Pisces are, I feel, the most sensitive out of the Zodiac. So, do we need to look at a situation or a person with compassion? It doesn't mean we let them get away with things that they're not supposed to, but we can take a different approach, perhaps. Remember, we are to, well, this is how I feel. We are to help people help themselves, but if they're not willing to help themselves, unfortunately, we really cannot assist them. All right. At least, at least that's what I try to do with all everything that I do quite frankly. All right. Let's see if there's anything else they can add. Well, actually, yes. There is the, my favorite part, there is the theme healing song. Okay, we'll do that first. All right, so I received the, the term expect the best from spirit. So, did a good old YouTube search and came up with two songs, okay? So the official song, theme healing song, is titled High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. I believe it was released last year, 2018. Great song. And the unofficial theme healing song is basically a great, you have to have a sense of humor. It's like basically tongue-in-cheek. It is Hope for the best, expect the worst, from the 19, 1970 movie, The Twelve Chairs, by Mel Brooks. Like I said, you have to have a sense of humor. All right. So this video, as well as a version of High Hopes by Panic at the Disco, will be on my website, Community. link Medium Tarot TV. And for those who are subscribers to the video subscription service, I'll include both songs plus some fun extras that I found along the way with the search. So, high hopes. High hopes. Are we expecting the best? Are we expecting great things? Or are we expecting the floor to jump out from underneath us? Again, our approach. Approach to life. That's basically it in a nutshell. Now, let's see. I would say for, this is a suggested new moon intention. Now, the way I look at, the way I view this is that we technically can put out our intention in the universe to manifest, create, attract any day of the month of the year. Though I do feel we have an extra oomph when it comes to the new moon's time of planting energetic seeds. So I would say today, Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday the 1st, and Friday, August 2nd would be the strongest days to place our new moon intention. All right. So a suggested new moon intention for today, Wednesday, August 31st, going by the day energy would be do we want more money or do we want better physical health? Now, remember, the true wealth is health. Hopefully I'm saying that properly. So, but whatever we feel is more important at this time, I hope it's the health over the, over the wealth, but sometimes we need to slow down, look at things from a different perspective, 
to take care of our health, our physical health. Now, built in is emotional and mental health, built in, and also spiritual. And usually when it comes to our physical health, we get warning signals. And then eventually we get physically ill. So it's best to pick up the, uh, the warning signals along the way. Now, so we could, if that is the case, we could ask spirit, our spirit guides, the universe to assist us to meet the proper professional to assist us with our health, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. We can ask for assistance to make more money. That can be, that can be a different job, an extra job, or it could be having a better sense of ourselves, believing in ourselves more so we can have more. Those are just a few suggestions based on the the day energy of thoughts of money and or health. I do feel that they are definitely connected energetically. All right, so there you have it. So thank you very much for joining us. And we hope to see you in another video real soon. So go to link, go to my website, everywhereagosta.community, link Medium Tarot TV to subscribe to my video subscription service and go to my website, link readings to have a psychic, arrange a psychic reading session with myself and my guides. There's a sale going on throughout the summer. Take advantage of it. Thanks for those who have been very busy. Thank you very much. All right, so hope to see you soon. Have a great Luna month and let's get busy. Let's let's manifest and attract, shall we? That's what we're here for. All right. Enjoy as well. Thanks.